the Far Lands. They're probably Minecraft's most notorious glitch, and at least most people probably know that they aren't intended to show up, that they're a bug. But there's more, more beyond just the Far Lands, more that I bet 99.9% .9 of people have never really seen before. That's what I intend to show off today, so I guess let's just get into it. Start. Before we go beyond the Far Lands, I should probably explain why they even happened to begin with, or at least why they used to. So in the Minecraft Inf Dev to beta days, the Far Lands patch didn't actually exist yet. So if you went to 12,550,824 blocks out, boom, Far Lands. So here's why. So Minecraft generates terrain with Perlin noise, more specifically with a sampling of 171.103 every block. If you multiply 171.103 by 12,550,824, you get roughly 2.147483 billion. Since the highest sine 32 bit integer computers can handle is that number, that's where it overflows. But the thing is, they were never really removed. They were just moved. In beta 1.8, there was a modular patch that moved the Farlands from 12.55 million blocks all the way to 53.9 quadrillion blocks. And the way we calculate this new distance out is simple. Instead of dividing a 32-bit integer limit by 171.103, you do it with a 64-bit integer limit instead. 9.223 quintillion over 171.103 is 53.9 quadrillion blocks. The Farther Lands. <clears throat> the Farther Lands. You may have heard of these before as being a place beyond the Far Lands, and they're the final distance limit that can properly be seen without messing with Minecraft's noise scaling. They occur around 1.004 billion blocks away from spawn, and beyond that point is where the Far Lands loses all of its detail that it had before. Basically, instead of just a bunch of random patterns, it becomes just a massive line of terrain that occasionally changes to another massive line at a different position. After the Far Lands removed it out in Beta 1.8, the Farther Lands got pushed with it, not to a couple hundred quadrillion, but to 4.3124 quintillion blocks away. And in the 64-bit Minecraft mod that I have for Minecraft 1.2.5, you can slowly see the Far Lands slowly repeat and lose all their detail over incredibly large distances. At roughly 100 quadrillion, a little detail is lost, though it isn't too noticeable. At 150 quadrillion, chunks of land start repeating. At 500 quadrillion, that repetition becomes way more noticeable than before, and in chunks of four of the same section of land. At one quintillion, this repeating pattern stuff is now in chunks of eight instead of four, and it's almost the only thing even left in the Far Lands. Two quintillion, chunks of 16. And finally at four quintillion, chunks of 32. After 4.312 quintillion blocks, this repetition just stops, and the Farther Lands take its place. And if you go out on both axes, the repeating chunks are a sort of grid of repeating terrain instead of a line. So if your position was 500 quadrillion x, 500 quintu quadrillion z, you would see repeating sections in a 4x4 grid of chunks. Beyond the Farther Land. To see what's beyond the farther lands, you can do one of two things. One, screw up Minecraft's noise scale values, which I will actually do later, or install a 128-bit distance mod. Either way, there isn't exactly much in the way of a proper way to see what's next without doing these, and yes, I did say a 128-bit mod, though I won't really show much of it here. First, to properly see this breakdown without the stripe land showing up, here's a modded 1.12 customized world, the mod was made by LMA, link in the description for it, that generates these new sections of terrain breakdown. Each block is equal to 1 sextillion whatever axis you go on, out on on this world I have, so keep that in mind. In the center, you can see that beyond one block, the entire area has this whole shattered look to it. That's stage one of what Alam A, the same dude who made this mod, calls the Fringe Farther Lands. The real Fringe Lands actually come later. As far as I'm aware, this is due to something with some sort of noise breaking, and there's actually a way to find out where the Farther Lands stop generating. You first take roughly 179.76 uncentillion, aka 2 to the 1024, 
then divide it by the interpolation noise of that coordinate. Then if it's on the z-axis, you take the sixth root of that. And if it's on the x, take the fifth root. After that, divide by the Perl noise sampling every block, so 171.103, roughly. If you teleport to the coordinate, you should see where it stops. The Fringe Farther Lands To see beyond that, you need to go out. You need to go way out. You need to go 8.175 times 10 to the 48 blocks out. That's right, 8.175 quindecillion blocks away. That is an 8 with 48 zeros behind it. What the fuck? Here, a, there's a sharp change in how the terrain looks with a lot of gaps just being there. And on top of that, sometimes the 128th layer of the world is gone and stone is there instead, though that is probably due to something else. By this point, the terrain wouldn't even properly be visible anymore due to how degraded the stripe lands are. Those actually started way before the far lands even did, at 9.007 quadrillion blocks. That's absolutely nothing compared to this. Actually, compared to the distance I'm at now, the far lands are 0 of our current distance. That's crazy. Stage 2. If you thought the first level of degrading was horrible, wait until you see this. This is 8.5766 quindecillion blocks away. Now, instead of just a few small gaps in, ter in the terrain, come like structures are forming, and they go on for absolutely insane distances. Here, the terrain breakdown is so bad I legitimately can't even believe it's generating like this. The comic artifacts are probably due to the interpolation just completely failing, and since terrain is interpolated every four blocks, that's why the little strips of land generate how they do every four blocks. And it'll only get worse from here. The true start of the fringe lands. At 9.176 quindecillion blocks, the fringe lands really start taking their proper shape. By now, the only things that are left are the comic artifacts and small strips of land a few blocks wide on which they generate. At this point, even the combs themselves have started degrading. Instead of it all being combs, there are now one block strips appearing, and these go out for far longer than just a couple hundred quatuor decillion blocks. Instead of stopping somewhere at like, I don't know, 10 or 11 quindecillion blocks, these don't fully end until the 10 to the power 50s range. That is over 100 quindecillion blocks. There isn't exactly much else to say other than literally what? The last degradation. Now at 10.3 quindecillion blocks away, we can see that the last degradation in the fringe lands until it starts to thin out completely. What a few moments ago as comes in strips of still walkable, couple block thick land is now only single block lines of terrain. There aren't even really any truly walkable areas anymore, as most of them are underwater, save for the few that are only right above that. The Z-Axis This entire time, I've only shown what's on the X-Axis. Sure, that's cool, but the Z-Axis is way weirder than that. First off, instead of degradation starting at 8.175 quindecillion, it starts at more like 9.176 quindecillion, and way more Acom artifacts show up too. Then instead of degrading in stages, as it did on the x-axis, it just starts to simply fade out, just more gradually. On top of all that, for whatever reason the z-axis fringe lands just fade into a sky grid. Out of all things, a sky grid. But the thing is that these thin out. More on that later. The real end of terrain generation. If you manage to make it here, I congratulate you. You've managed to make it further out than basically anyone else in this entire game by now. That's impressive. 
Regardless, at only 20.6 quindestillion blocks away, or two times the distance of the one block lines beginning, they simply just stop. I'm not entirely sure why either, nor is anyone else really for that matter. But if I had to guess why, something about how Minecraft generates terrain height for the block dips under 0.5, probably rounding it to zero. Something like that. Or better yet, as Alam said in his video is his, more Pearl and Noise octaves just give up and collapse. And what's even more weird about all this, other than the bedrock floor and like, no terrain generation, is that there is still a couple one block lines generating out here. Those don't truly end until nearly 560 quindecillion blocks, and there are probably more isolated lines that go out further than that. The Sky Grid You know how in Bedrock Edition there's a Sky Grid that generates in the corner farlands? Well that exists on Java Edition too, and it's incredibly weird. You might remember how I said to the terrain I saw in my 1.12 mod world looked sort of shattered. Well, if we go to roughly 40.6 septillion blocks away on both axes, there you go. That right there is the sky grid. In Java Edition. And what's insane is that, the further away you are on one axis, the thinner it gets on the other. Seriously. And in more ways than one. So the further out you go on both axes, the shorter the sky grid gets. And it's in this weird sort of pattern. From a top down view, it looks like it's degrading in a four pointed star or diamond type shape. Which actually makes some sense, because the start of the sky grid in fringe lands and the x-axis fully depends on what the other is, and vice versa. On top of all that, in the, on the lower laters, it starts earlier than on the higher ones. That's weird as hell, and I can't really explain why that happens, nor am I gonna really try either. Beyond the sky grid. If we go out to 2.147 billion blocks of my 1.12 world, which is now the equivalent of 2.147 non-million blocks away, it's very easy to see that now the fringe lands are one single block wide, with some comb artifacts coming out the side of it, and the sky grid is almost down to sea level, only generating around 32 blocks wide. If I go further, now to the equivalent of 21.47 on alien blocks, the sky grid is completely faded, and the only thing now is, a, is this one block thick line of terrain. At 10 to the power of 48 noise scale, aka 1 quindecillion, you wanna know what shows up at spawn? That's right, the fringe lands. What's weird about these is that on the x-axis beyond 8 blocks, nothing generates. On the z-axis, however, the one block lines continue until roughly 124 quindecillion, and if you're lucky, the comic artifacts will generate until roughly 15 quindecillion, and beyond that, nothing else generates. Anyways, if you enjoyed this little deep dive, and I guess not really a deep dive, but it's like, if you enjoyed this little, little video on the, far, on the Minecraft distance limits to an extent, and also this what's beyond the Far Lands, then I guess, I mean, if you want, you can sub. I mean, I post like literally whenever the hell I want. And the only reason I really made this was 3 a.m. motivation, all right? <laughs> this took me probably way too long to make. So at least leave a like for that. I don't really know. Anyways, yeah, just see you whenever I, I upload again. And, um, yeah, goodbye.